Here's a secret. If you inject a bad filler into your face, you could increase the risk of things like immune system attacks and lumps. And there's proof in scientific papers like this. If you want to be safe and reaction free next time you have fillers and pay attention till the end because it affects the way your face ages once there's fillers inside, as well as your clinical safety in the short term. There's very specific reasons why Revaness and Miley are picking up big amounts of traction in the medical sector right now, and it's important you understand why before choosing your treatment or choosing your filler. Let's start with Revaness. The actual cross-linked HA inside the syringe, which is responsible for volumization you experience, is something you need to understand. HA or hyaluronic acid is a bit of a buzzword nowadays and everyone loves talking about it. But the truth, which not many people will tell you, is that the weight of it is extremely important. Certain types of low weight HA can actually cause all sorts of problems for us like immune system attacks, which is why more up-to-date manufacturers now state exactly how heavy their hyaluronic acid is. Revaness uses high molecular weight HA with low levels of BDDE, which binds the individual HA chains together to make bigger ones. Think of HA as wooden logs that float on a river, and BDDE is the rope that combines all these logs together to make a bigger structure like a raft, which can then support you. HA chains bound together by BDDE in the skin make bigger structures, which can then support things like the skin to project it forward. However, it's very important to have low amounts of BDDE, the cross-linking agent, because its toxicity is very well known now. Once the HA has been selected in Revaness, it goes through something called a wet milling process. This is really important because it creates perfectly smooth and round spherical particles. Why should this matter to you for your face? Because when the particles and dermal fillers are more irregularly shaped, you're more likely to get an inflammatory reaction that triggers an immune system attack. Check this paper out if you want to read more about that. Revaness takes around seven days to make and at the end has less toxins and less BDDE with a very neutral pH slash acidity. All this means that when you're injected, number one, you're extremely safe because you're likely to have a reaction. Number two, there's barely any swelling unless you have some sort of medical problem. And number three, the result you see on the day can be trusted because there's not too much swelling that needs to go down in the following days. Check this out. Arthur Swift, who's a very well-respected doctor in the US, has been using Revaness for nine years now, so almost a decade. In almost a decade, he has never ever experienced any long-term or delayed complications with the filler. That's remarkable, a decade with zero reactions. Miley is another top product you should know about. Miley's oxy-free HA technology allows us to potentially inject less filler into your face while still projecting the skin by the same amount. It also has a high molecular weight HA with greatly reduced BDDE for less toxicity and ultimately, ultimately better safety, just like Revan S. However, Miley's had a lot of testing done on its physical properties. The way its chains line up are like springs in the skin helping it project, but they stay supple at the same time. Look at this chart showing how much better it is than the most commonly used filler in the world, Juvederm, which I hate, by the way. Every product in the Miley range here has more volumization ability when compared with its Juvederm counterpart, whilst simultaneously being more supple and more elastic at the same time. So next time someone tries to get used Juvederm on you, you know you can leave. Both of the brands I've mentioned today don't really need top-ups even after a year, so they're slightly more expensive initially, but they can work out cheaper for you in the long term because they can last much longer. And the less you inject yourself with consistently over time, the less likely you'll look overfilled and puffy as you age. The danger from fillers nowadays is mostly to do with the person holding the syringe rather than what's inside the syringe. So my advice to you as a prospective patient is to pay more attention to who's injecting you rather than what they're injecting with. For instance, a filler that I haven't mentioned today like Perfector, Stellage or Revlax can still give you a safe and happy result as long as they're used by someone that knows what they're doing. On the other hand, even a top of the line filler like Revaness or Miley can cause serious problems if they're used by someone inexperienced that doesn't know what they're doing and they put it in the wrong place. If that happens, then you could experience problems like in this video here.